Good day, and welcome to Math 111H Calculus 1 Honors, The Joys of X. On today's show, we'll discuss the product rule and the quotient rule. Deriving the product rule is another example of the powerful results that can be obtained using the definition of the derivative f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Consider the function r of x to be the product of f and g. So r of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Then the derivative r prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of r of x plus h minus r of x over h. r of x plus h is f of x plus h times g of x plus h. r of x is f of x times g of x. So we just plug those in. Then we make the crucial step. And it's a very tricky step. We subtract f of x plus h times g of x, and we add the very same thing, so that we're really, in essence, adding 0. So we have a minus f of x plus h times g of x, and a plus f of x plus h times g of x. Now we take the first two pieces of the numerator, and we notice there's an f of x plus h in common. So we get f of x plus h times g of x plus h minus g of x. And for the second two terms in the numerator, we have a g of x in common. So we pull that out and we get g of x plus h times f of x plus h minus f of x. We break up the two pieces, giving us the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h times g of x plus h minus g of x over h, plus the limit as h goes to 0 of g of x times f of x plus h minus f of x over h. We can recognize g of x plus h minus g of x over h as h goes to 0. That's simply g prime of x. We can recognize f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h goes to 0. That's f prime of x. So letting h goes, go to 0, we get f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x, or the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Now let's consider the reciprocal rule, the derivative of the function f of x equal 1 over g of x. Well, once again, one could use the definition of the derivative, go through the algebra, it's very straightforward, and one finds that the derivative f prime of x is equal to the negative of g prime of x over g squared of x. So the derivative of 1 over g of x is minus g prime of x over g squared of x. Using the product rule and the reciprocal rule together, gives us the quotient rule. If h of x is f of x over g of x, then we can write h of x is f times 1 over g of x. And so the derivative of h of x is the first, f of x, times the derivative of the second, 1 over g of x prime, plus the second, 1 over g of x, times the derivative of the first, f prime of x. Plugging in the reciprocal rule for the 1 over g of x derivative, <clears throat> we find minus f of x times g prime of x over g squared of x plus f prime of x over g of x. Just giving a common denominator and reversing the order of the terms gives us the usual formula g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x over the denominator g of x squared. So, Or sometimes it's called low d high minus high d low over low squared. g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x over g squared of x. Okay, let's take a moment for math culture. A chemistry teacher wanted to teach his ninth grade class a lesson about the evils of alcohol. So he produced an experiment that involved a glass of water, a glass of whiskey, and two worms. Now class, observe closely the worms, said the teacher, putting a worm first into the water. The worm in the water writhed about happy as a worm in water could be. The second worm he put into the whiskey. It writhed painfully and quickly sank to the bottom, dead as a doornail. Now what lesson can we derive from this experiment, the teacher asked. One student, who naturally sits in the back, raised his hand and wisely responded, drink whiskey and you won't get worms. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day and may the power of math be with you.